Yo, so what's up, y'all? It's your boy, Mr. Cheap Sense, back. I tried to make this video earlier before I went to work, and I got interrupted by housekeeping. Um, they had came and cleaned the room, and then for some odd reason, they never have the linen when they come back to clean the room. So they leave, they come back later, and disturb me while I'm trying to sleep and stuff like that. So uh, the video was gone, it stopped. Um, I paused it whenever they came to the door, so um, I just want to start it all the way back over. So, first up, instead of me doing what I'm supposed to be doing and getting my behind ready to get on this road to head to Alabama, um, <clears throat> I'm here making a video for you guys, which I don't mind, it's what I do. So the fragrance I wore today is from the house of Rasasi and it is Darige or Darej Porom, however you say it. But you'll know it when you see the bottle. I'm pretty sure everybody knows about this by now. Um, very nice fragrance. Um, super sweet, smelling it straight off the rip um, out of the bottle and on your skin, the initial sprays. Uh, the dry down is a little different. It's been compared to Valentino V. And I do have a sample of that. And it does smell like it on the dry down. The opening, they are not similar at all. Um, I sprayed it on my hands earlier. I sprayed the Rasasi on the right hand. And the, Val excuse me, the Valentino on the left hand. And the openings were different. The dry down is where they start to get closer and closer together or alike, which is fine. Um, and people were telling me that I don't need Valentino V because I have this one now. And I agree. But I'm going to tell you what else this kind of smells like. Except that fragrance is a little spicier. And I should have grabbed it before I sat down. if I still have it uh, where are you here it is the fragrance actually to me actually I am wrong about that one Yeah, I'm not going to say that. Um, I had to spray it. I was going to say it has a little bit of, of F black in it, but it's off. It's way off. But um, the dry down, for some funny reason, kept reminding me of Armoff's craze. I don't know why. I kept, on the dry down, I kept getting like this almond, uh, slightly sweet vibe. It's nice, but I didn't like Craze. Um, I did have it, which is a supposedly a clone of Pegasus. Um, I just didn't like it. It didn't wow me like people said it was going to do. Um, that's why I sold it. So, uh, But this one is very nice. Um, I got maybe two hours of projection out of this one. Strong projection. Um, not super strong. It was, i say, moderate projection. Um, about five hours of longevity. Uh, I did find myself having to reapply this one. I did get a few compliments today. Um, people said I smelled nice when I was, on, I think, on the sixth floor. But um, not a bad fragrance. I really like this one. It's pretty cool. And it's purple. My sister loves purple. The one that's next to me. But very good fragrance. Uh, next up, I had a package come. And it is from Miguel Gomez. And I think this is due to a trade that we did. And the fragrance that he sent me is a... I'm guessing this is like a 30 ml or something like that. 
um, Amouage Reflection Man. And I can't tell you for certain that this is what this is because, I mean, I've never smelled any of those Amouage um, fragrances to even tell you. But I will say that if this is what it is, this is nice. This is very nice. I like this one a lot. And I'm actually going to take this one on my road trip to Alabama. I like this one. Very much so. And last but not least, I did, since I got off a little early, stop by TJ Maxx just to see. I had already been in there the day before. And they didn't have jack shit in there. So one of the things I picked up was some beard oil. Uh, I paid $5.99 for it. Uh, let's see. Yeah, $5.99. And the fragrance that I bought was $14.99. So the total for both of these was $22.45. And this is the beard oil that I bought just to try it out. And see what happens. I have some beard oils like the little sample packs. But they don't last long. Um, so this one has argyle, argan oil, lavender, and coconut oil. And um, it's supposed to soften and smooth your beard. So I'm going to give this a try. And the fragrance that I picked up was just a 30ml bottle of Abercrombie and Fitch for uh, $14.99 for 30ml so that's not too bad I mean if it would have been like 10 bucks 12 bucks you know something like that I would have been more ecstatic but 15 bucks is not too bad for this and I don't think I've smelled this one I've smelled First Instinct and um, I have the other one I can't think of the name of it but um those are pretty good and I don't have my braze over here with me so I'm gonna just use my box cutter or not box cutter my putty knife my bad So just a basic old plain box. It does have texture to it, like some little grooves, if you can see them. It is textured, has that stamp on the side. It's raised, Abercrombie and Fitch. Oh, uh, this is First Instinct Blue. Okay, I didn't even see that on the side, so I, I wasn't even paying attention. I have never heard or seen this one before. So this is not like the bottle is, but this is not like the regular Abercrombie and Fitch Fierce or um, First Instinct. So let me give this a spray. It's not a bad atomizer. Oh, that's nice. That's real. It's very aromatic. As soon as I sprayed, I didn't even have to put my arm up. That's nice. It does have that uh, Ambroxan type smell to it. Kind of reminds me almost of Dylan Blue, but it's not as sharp as Dylan Blue. That's nice. I like that. So this is um, Abercrombie and Fitch First Instinct Blue. Definitely going to take this one with me also. Um, I'm only going to be gone until like Sunday. And we'll be back Sunday hopefully afternoon. But um, yeah. So that's two I'm taking with me. The Amouage Reflection Man. And the First Instinct um, Blue. That's nice. That really is nice. It's not as sharp. As Dylan Blue is, Dylan Blue can come off a little bit sharp, a little bit strong if you overspray. That's nice. This one is very nice. 
That's not bad. I like that. Oh, that's very good. Very, very good. Two other fragrances they had in there that kind of shocked me because I've seen other stores have found, people have found these fra this one particular fragrance for way cheaper than what I seen it for tonight. And I almost gave in to the pressure, but I couldn't spend that kind of money for those two fragrances. One of them I saw once before around Christmas time or a little after Christmas, and it was 1 million Privé, the 200 ml bottle, which was 80 bucks, which was a steal because you could have got four, you get four 50 ml bottles in that one 200 ml bottle or two 100 ml bottles, which is a great deal. Um, I passed on it, and when I finally gave in and wanted to get it, of course, what happened, as always, it's gone. So I haven't seen Privé in a long time around these parts unless I go to, like, Ulta or Belks or something like that, but I'm not going to pay that kind of price. Tonight, I seen it again. They had two 50 ml bottles of 1 million Privé, but they were $49.99, and I... I had it in my hand for the longest and, you know, after I paid my bills and reinstated my license and all that stuff, I didn't have much left. And I was not finna spend my last, you know, whatever money on buying cologne. So, um, I put that one back and they had Jean-Paul Gaultier's Lamal in the Navy. They had two canisters of it. And it was $59.99. And I just couldn't do it, man. So the $1 million Privé was $49.99. The In the Navy was $59.99. And I just couldn't spend $60. Bucks. Uh, what is that? Well, like $110 I would have spent for those two. And I don't... And I even stood in the store and I listened to Stephen from Red Lessons talk about the fragrance because I know absolutely nothing about um, In the Navy. I know about Lamal and Ultramel, but the In the Navy and all those other flankers, the Popeye, Old Fresh, and Superman and all that stuff, I don't know nothing about those except for what I've heard people talk about. And when I listened to Stephen talk about it, and he said if you already have Dylan Blue and, you know, other fragrances like that with the Ambroxan and all that, he said you might not want to get that one. So I have Dylan Blue sitting on the shelf. I'm cool. I passed on that one. But that Privé, I wanted it so bad, man. And I just, like, I can't pay 50 bucks for that when I know I can get it cheaper somewhere else. So um, I'm going to hold off and hopefully they stick around for a while and maybe get marked down. You guys out there, man, you guys have been finding some gems. I'm telling you, man, like Aqua de Parma by my guy from, what is it? Uh, TLTG or something like that. I'm sorry if I, you know, messed up your name, but he said he found uh, Aqua de Parma for like 12 bucks. And then my guy over at Scent Nation, I think he found one not too long ago. And his was kind of inexpensive also. Um, like, you guys be finding gems. Somebody else I saw, I think on Facebook, found... What did they find? They found something that was cheap as hell. And I can't remember what it was. But, like, it's crazy, man. You guys are finding these fragrances for these prices. And when I go to Marshall's or my local TJ Maxx... I can't find deals like that. That's ridiculous. But, you know, it is what it is, man. If it's meant for me to have some of these fragrances, then I guess the good Lord above will make it happen for me. But right now, I'm just focused on trying to get you guys the best content I can get you and make sure I maintain at the same time. I can't go broke trying to buy fragrances to try to keep up and stuff. I can just use what I have for now. To try and, um, you know, come up with different video, uh, I'm so ready to get, just go, man, and get this trip over with, um, ideas, fragrance ideas and combinations to put together, sample videos, side-by-side -side comparison videos, I need to start doing top fives and top tens and stuff like that, I need to do more of that type of stuff, so, um, 
for now, I'm just going to try to use what I have. And, you know, if I get some stuff in trade or if I end up selling some stuff, then cool. But if until I can find deals like you guys have been finding, I think I'm going to back down a little bit. Um, I'm not going to be spending that kind of money, six, 50 and 60 bucks for stuff I know I probably could find cheaper somewhere else or just wait until it gets marked down. But here, when people see good stuff like that, it don't matter whether it costs 60 or 70 or 80 bucks, they're going to buy it. Which, it hurts me in the long run because I'm sitting back waiting for it and it's gone. Like I was waiting on um, uh, Bulgari Atlantique. They had like two or three of them here. And they were on the clearance table, but they were still, you know, like 40 something $50. And I was trying to weight them down, and people bought them. Luckily, I went to Marshall's in Jacksonville, Florida, and ran into one. It was like $36, I think it was. And we jumped on it. So, with that being said, I am out of here, guys. And as always, here's to smelling good. Peace.